Hey Chad, how's it going? This is Holden. Uh, I told you I was going to shoot you this video and in this video I just want to show you a few things, three things you can really do to increase some traffic to your business and get some more customers in the door. You know, in today's day and age, everybody's searching on Google for everything that they need and if you can't get found in the Google search results, then you're just not getting found. And uh, a lot of times people don't realize that you need a super strong internet presence to really make it out there. And the only hesitation I see people having to hire in someone are, is they don't know who the experts are and who they're not. So I found by giving out this free plan of attack, these three things that you can do to, uh, to kind of increase some traffic to your business today has really resulted in a lot of business owners coming back to me and saying, hey Holden, I can really use your help. So by the end of this video, you can see that I've got some value and you wanna talk some more, shoot me a message and we can chat. If not, uh, it's totally fine. I just uh, hope that you please implement these three things and they will immensely help out your business and get you some more traffic. So let's jump right in. I got your webpage up here right here and it looks pretty good. You've got a lot of good pictures of the jobs you do, your services, and some content on here. And when it comes to uh, Google optimization, content is key. You know, you wanna make sure you have at least 1,500 words of content on your homepage alone. Uh, I have this tool here, it's called SEO Quake. This is a free tool, you can pick this up yourself, and it pulls some of the data off of your website. And I can see that you have 381 words of content on your homepage. So you're kind of falling short of that 1,500 that, that Google really likes uh, for optimization. This guy over here is one of your top competitors and uh, looking at his uh, SEO Quake analytics, it's showing me that he's got 1,700, or yeah, 1,723 words on his own page alone. So he's he's over that 1,500 words. If you were to bring your words up to 2,000, you'd be beating this guy out immensely. Now, additionally, the next thing as far as content goes is you wanna make sure that you've got keywords and keywords are specifically what people are searching for in Google to find you, installation contractors in Santa Barbara, installation contractors, California, whatever they may be, whatever services you offer, what people are searching for, you need to put that in your content because Google likes to match whatever your content is or whatever people are searching for to what's most relative. And if that's not on your page, Google will bypass your web page and put the next thing up there. Uh, I can see what words you have on your homepage. You have installation 11 times, spray foam seven times, Foam insulation five times, Santa Barbara, uh, energy efficient, insulation contractor. These are things that people are searching for. So good job getting those up there. Let's take a look at your competitor. You can see he's got uh, Santa Barbara 25 times. Um, he's got insulation 86 times, contractors 55 times. So you can really see why he's he's beating you out, at least in this area, with, uh, with keywords. You know, he's just putting a lot more of them in there and, and some more relevant ones. Now the next thing I want to talk to you about is this map pack here and this is uh, how you get found locally. Now I can see that you are in the second place of this map pack right here and that, that's pretty good. Now if you want to get bumped up to the next spot up here, the best thing that you can do is get your name, address, and phone number as many times as possible in different directories online. That's things like Yellow Pages and Yelp and Facebook and you know if your competition has 50 of these things out there, make sure you're going to the next step and bringing out 150 of these things, you know, put it at a spot where they can't really compete with you. Uh, as far as uh, as th this down here, this is the organic search results, and it looks like for this specific keyword, you are at the top. So good job getting there. And and the reason that you're here is because of a, a specific thing called backlinks. You know, uh, backlinks are basically Google's a popularity contest. There's a lot of these links going from one website to another website, and and the more of these links that you have, the better off you are. Google starts recognizing when, when these popularity votes are pointing in your direction, if you've got a ton of them, you know, that your website is super relevant and that they're gonna bump you to the top of this organic search results. So I have this, uh, this thing right here. It's called uh, Arefs. It's a tool that we use. It pulls data directly from Google. They purchase it from them and it gives me a good idea of what's going on, on your website. And uh, just to show you, this, this tells me that you're getting found 40 times a month organically in your search results for Google, and you're getting found for 122 keywords uh, that people are searching for. And then over here, this is, this is your, uh, all those domains that are sending backlinks, websites that are sending backlinks back to your website, and you've got 169 of these backlinks. Um, and this over here kind of just gives me an idea of what you are, how your website is doing comparatively to other websites in your industry. So you're not doing too bad. It's is still a little bit low, but you would you could bump that up by just getting some more of these backlinks put in. And I want you to remember that backlinks are not all created equal. You can't get a backlink from a pizza place 
and having that link to your installation website. You know, Google's gonna recognize that those two things have nothing to do with each other and they're gonna deduct points from that from you and you're gonna drop down in your organics. So just to reiterate, the three things I want you to take a look at are content on your homepage, see if you can bump that content up to 1500 words and add in those keywords that people are searching for, you know, and then next to stay uh, in this, in this uh, map pack here and if you wanna get up to the top here, what you gotta do is get more of those directories out there, name, address, and phone number, and things like Yelp and Yellow Pages. And then finally, you wanna get some more of those backlinks so you can stay up in this top organic search area right here, because this is where people are looking. They're not going down to the bottom looking at ads, and they're definitely not going to second, third, fourth page of Google. So I, I hope you appreciate this video, uh, and you've learned some things. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you wanna talk some more, shoot me a video in chat. And if not, that's totally fine. Please just implement these things and uh, get some more traffic to your business. All right. Thanks a lot, Chad. Have a good one.